Remember those good old days where you were just obsessed with beating this one particular arcade game? Spending your whole allowance on just this machine? Begging mom and dad for that one extra quarter that way you can have a higher rank than your friend that was playing the machine after you? Well, a few games did that for me and Afterburner was definitely one of them. And I'm very pleased and happy to hear that Sega has released a new updated version of it on the Xbox Live and PSN. This is the Afterburner of yesterday and here is the Afterburner of today and welcome to a tacosandgeeks.com review of Afterburner Comics. Let's talk a little bit about the graphics. Now as you can see here the graphics are full blown 3D. A lot of people thought they were going to go 2.5 or just go with an HD look with it but I'm really happy that they went full blown 3D with this because it, it, is, it looks so much more realistic and they kept the arcade feel to it so there's nothing really to complain about. I had no real texture or pixelated issues with this. It's very clean, very crisp and, and HD so it's just I, I suggest play it on HD to see how beautiful the game really really is. But graphics is not everything. Let's talk about gameplay. Now you get to select from three different ships here. You get to select from the Super Tomcat, which is an updated version from the original Tomcat with the F4D. Now we have the FA18E, which is the Super Hornet, and the F15E, which is the Strike Eagle. And a little bit about the uh, menus and choices that you get to have here you have an arcade mode and you have score act score attack mode now score attack mode you have to get the highest score through all 15 levels and you have to unlock the four, level 14 and 15 but I'll talk, talk about that later on in a few moments but the gameplay is completely unchanged uh, only only difference is they have something called climax mode now where you're able to slow down the game and able to lock onto your targets and shoot and that doesn't really make the game much more easier because you still have a lot of fighters and a lot of dodging to do I would have to say I was disappointed with the achievement and trophy options that they had uh, I thought you know by playing I already beat the game by playing through the whole game you know certain things I felt that you can be able to get trophies but here uh, they have this emergency call thing where you have to take, you see where it says target right there? You have to shoot down that guy and you have to go through most of the levels, I think seven, or, um, 7 out of 14 levels, you have to shoot these emergency targets down in order to lock level 14 and 15 which you will need in order to get an A ending which is the gold trophy for those who have PSN. The gameplay is pretty solid, really intact, just new addition with the climax mode. So no complaints there. So we're gonna now go straight to music and the music is wonderful it's a nice rock music updation of I believe Afterburner 2 theme and original Afterburner music fits very very well it fits the mode I cannot imagine playing this with classical music or hip-hop or any other form of music besides rock instrumentals and it really works for this guys no complaints with the music I say I say get it, it it's very enjoyable only problem is they only get like two tracks that, that was just a downer. Um, Final Grade, because it's a really quick game. Alright, we giving this a B plus simply because the score attack. I uh, just wish they did a little bit more, but it's a very, very good game for all my Afterburner fans. It's a must have. Um, score attack, great gameplay, quick, very easy. Easy trophies, gave it a B plus. But it's a great game, guys. Check it out. And visit otakosandgeeks.com. Final grade, B plus, at the burner.